Hello, my name is Juan Simon Kaji, and I am going to show you an implementation of spatial audio for a first-person experience using WISE and Unity. Please use headphones. The focus of this video is to explore some of the techniques that will make your sound design more immersive by leveraging all the built-in features that WISE has for this specific purpose. I modified the third-person 3D GameKit Unity project to be first-person, so that everything that I mention here can be used for VR and AR experiences. All the sounds that you will hear in this demo are implemented using WISE. Treating sounds as objects is the best way to place them in space. In this case, I am using a third-order ambisonics bus and the resonance plugin that comes with WISE, but you can use any other specializer that uses HRTFs to achieve this effect. By setting the 3D specialization to position and orientation and setting the right attenuation curves with the correct amplitude and low pass filter, we can create a realistic 360 positioning for all the objects. I am using this technique in all the sounds that are diegetic, like the enemies, to be able to localize them even if they're creeping from behind. In the pressure pads, In the doors. And some of the ambient sounds that have visual references, like the acid. Using ambisonics is a great way to represent full 360 sound fields. Third order ambisonics uses 16 channels and it conveys a good amount of definition for our purpose of creating an ambience. I created an Ambisonics file for the ambience using a DAW and a plugin. By setting the Ambisonics bus correctly, we can have the sound field rotate based on the position of the listener, creating a more immersive soundscape than normal stereo or static binaural files. Here is the isolated ambience. Focus on the insects and how they are fixed in space. To create a realistic special audio environment, you need to have the right acoustics for the reflective surfaces that are around your listener. To achieve this, I have implemented a couple of rooms, one in the tunnel in the entrance and another one in the main room, in which the enemies are located. Let's listen to how the rooms sound. I am using the Matrix Reverb in WISE, but you can use any plugin that allows you to create spaces. To be able to listen between the rooms, you need to implement acoustic portals that will allow for sound to travel from one room to another one like it happens in real life. Occlusion happens when an audio source is blocked by another object and some of the sound passes through. The high frequencies with a smaller wavelength and less energy are not able to make it across, making the sound muffled. Here is the isolated sound of the enemies being occluded by this rock door. To achieve this effect, we're using the global occlusion parameters of our WISE project and some reflective surfaces in our game objects. I also used occlusion to make the bubbling of the acid sound more realistic when we are in the rock platforms. <laughs> 